Okay, guys, just a quick guide how you can get a bit more practice on MathWatch, which is interactive and gives you some instant feedback. So here we are, we've logged into someone's account. Now, all we need to do is go to videos. Now you can select key stage three if you want some easier questions to build up your skill. See if it's got your topic, midpoint, it doesn't. But it has, might have gradient. There's a worksheet that you can try. Or you can click interactive questions. So here you go, question one. And here you see question two, question three. Those are standard and then you've got harder ones as well to get more practice. So for example, let's do question two. We can see that goes five down and one. So the gradient is five. You can submit your answer. It tells you you're correct. Some of you said on your survey you were on the practice and the harder one. So you can select this question two. Or oh, that's four and one, so that's minus four. Submit answer, fair enough. Return to videos. Now, if you click GCSE, and select gradient, type in gradient of a line. You've got worksheet as well, or interactive questions. So question one, question two. So you've got A and B, can you see, here you go, you've got three, the rise is three and it's across one, but be careful, no that's perfect, so that would be three and B would be minus one. Check your answers, you've got them both right, so you can instantly check, you can see the harder questions here, two, three and four, so you can get a bit more practice. Um... So let's see, as you can see, I told you it doesn't cover everything because it hasn't got the Y equals MX plus E rearranging skills. But if you want to practice your graph, straight line graphs, you've got interactive questions here. You can see you've got a different selection. And you've got a few harder questions as well. And these are actually very similar to your homework questions as well, but it just gets graded. But if you want extra practice, you can do this here without being set a homework. I don't always give you all these questions. And if you want to build up your skill, because you are in key stage three, you can still type in line for straight line graphs, introduction, gradient, y equals mx plus c. You've got your interactive questions, and we're going to be working on this this week. So that will give you more practice and you will get a homework on that. Um, and then you can click to GCC line. So these are generally a bit more difficult. And I would, can you see you've got midpoints on the line here. Straight line graphs. And I think I showed you that earlier. But here you go, midpoint of a line interactive questions you've got the standard questions that you need to be able to do but you can see some of the harder questions and there's more and then you've got a few endpoint questions here so those are really good practice for you to double check what you can do and that's it you can that's just showing you how you can get a bit of practice using mass watch and i'm going to show you the worksheet for it and there's a worksheet, just nice eight questions for you to try. Um, occasionally I may um, use this as well as a homework. But if you ever want extra questions, this is just perfect for you. The answers, I can send them to you if you email me for the worksheet. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. And that is it. But you've got to see, can you see MathWatch does not cover every topic and sometimes doesn't give you enough questions. But combination of MathWatch videos, Call with Maths is also very good for questions. Just type in Google, Call bit Maths. And you've got practice papers here. 
I sometimes use these worksheets and it's best just press control F and you can say midpoints and you've got midpoints you've got practice questions and these are more like exam type questions and you've got textbook questions which gives you a lot more practice and actually saves paper so sometimes I would prefer this and you've got the apply questions that is really good for you right so just giving you a bit of guidance there so you can choose where you want to practice if you want the answers I think there's a link here just click the answers and it actually gives you the answers as well and I use this sometimes in lesson as well to build up skill I think uh, Corbett's maths is really good for building up your skills all right hopefully that makes sense guys